after being cooped up at home, you may be looking forward to a little getaway when this pandemic ends. And experts say road trips may be a popular option. Travel expert Gabe Saglia joins us now this morning. So good to hear from you, Gabe. How's it going? Stella, I, I'm one of those folks itching to hit the road again. You know, I know. So I think, uh, and I think I won't be alone. I think road trips will be the name of the game here right out of the gate. Yeah, so uh, Gabe is joining us by phone right now. So what do you think people are looking for as far as road trips go? Well, I think they're looking for a couple of things. Uh, they want to get away. They've been cooped up at home. Um, I, I love my three kids, but we've been with them for several weeks now. Uh, so we want to get away. We want to be sort of in control. We want to keep it safe. We want to keep it affordable. Affordability is going to be a big factor for, for those of us who want to start traveling again. So um, the road trip fits that bill perfectly. Um, recent surveys are showing that anywhere from 40 to 50 percent of people who have already got their next trip planned, is they'll be doing it inside their own personal cars. So, um, you know, one, two, three hours away from San Diego is probably going to be the, the first best option for a lot of folks, a lot of families. Um, we'll pick the folks we've been together with at home for several weeks. We'll stick them in the car. And we'll just drive just a couple of hours to stay within a comfort zone, but still be able to say we got away. Yeah, you've been tracking, uh, tracking this kind of your own research. I saw you posted on your social media you went to Santa Barbara uh, two three hours uh, where, where do you think people are going uh, aside from Santa Barbara what else yeah, so I was in, I was up in Santa Barbara uh, yesterday. Um, you know, any sort of destination that's kind of that got that open space. You know, I was up, I was on the other side of the San Ynez Mountains up near in Solvang and sort of, sort of that wine country up there, um, and it was busy. Uh, so a lot of day trippers out of uh, out of places like Los Angeles and San Diego, venturing to the Central Coast, venturing to places like uh, Joshua Tree, mountain destinations. Again, any sort of open space will be attracted. The interesting dance here, Stella, mm -hmm. is going to be people who live in these quaint open air destinations. Do they want those of us? Yeah. From you know, those of us who are city slickers moving into these uh, small remote areas, uh, probably not. Um, so there's going to be an interesting balance there, uh, trying to push into these areas while people who live there are still trying to maintain um, sort of that unspoiled, quiet, uh, plenty of elbow room uh, kind of a concept. But inevitably, these are the places that those of us who are ready to, to move will be moving first. And slowly but surely, flights will pick up domestically, regionally, domestically, international travel still, I think, a couple of months uh, down the road. And on the other side of it all, too, you would think that some of these communities will maybe welcome the business Oh yeah, no. You, the business people would lo are loving it. It's it's the residents who are all of a sudden after. I think you know. My mom lives in Solvang. I think she got spoiled to really kind of quiet, open mm -hmm. streets for several months. And now the influx, like yesterday, was busy in Solvang. It was busy in downtown Santa Barbara, where they closed off the main drag there for many blocks and turned it into a pedestrian walkway. Uh, the restaurants loved it. They're bringing their uh, their uh, tables out to the sidewalks. Uh, it's physical distancing is easier to do. Uh, so creatively, these cities on the business uh, side of things are welcoming uh, the foot traffic. It's just going to be an interesting sort of back and forth uh, respectfully as we start to move into these uh, spaces. But as far as the desire to go, uh, it's there. People are making the plans. I think June is going to be a really kind of a nice pivot month for travel, uh, again, with road trips leading the way. And 40, you say 40% will visit a beach destination. I mean, we are considered a beach destination. And considering that L.A., their restaurants are still closed for dining in, um, we could expect an influx here. Yeah, I think the coastal communities of Orange and San Diego counties once again are going to be high on people's uh, to-do list here over the next couple of weeks, even during the weekday uh, weekdays here. But certainly weekends, I think, as we move into June, uh, they, they, it'll it'll get it'll start to get uh, busier. It'll be nice in one sense to see that that energy is building back up and that pent-up demand starting to translate to people moving around and feeling more comfortable uh, with uh, with seeing other folks. It's got to be done respectfully. It's got to be done safely, obviously, but certainly. I think we're going to see in the next week to two, early June, uh, a pretty significant uh, change as far as the way that people are starting to travel and move around. Travel expert Gabe Saglier, thank you so much for joining us. Gabe, if people want to find some more information on travel, um, you do have some information on your blog, right? Yeah, yeah, check out my website, gabesaglier.com. Uh, and uh, great to talk to you, Stella. Hope great. to see you again in person soon. Yes, yes, Gabe. So nice to chat with you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. Hope you enjoy the day off. Will do. I'm cooking. <laughs>